Welcome to WTDC 17 in Buenos Aires, Argentina, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Christopher Kame, who is Director of Licensing, Compliance and Standards for the Communications Authority of Kenya. Mr. Kame, thank you for joining us in the studio today. Thank you very much. Now, I'd like to start off by talking about Kenya. It's, it's known as the, the Silicon Savannah. It has a flourishing startup ecosystem. We saw that very much when uh, we had our ITU meeting there not so long ago. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the challenges faced by your country's ICT ecosystem and what's being done about them? Thank you very much for that particular question. Uh, as most people know, um, Kenya, for a while now, has been leading in the digital ecosystem uh, revolution. And... Um, there are many uh, examples uh, to that effect, um, so we need not say um, uh, too much about that because we know about that. Um, as you know, Kenya as a young population, um, fairly well educated, uh, very ambitious young people. And uh, one of the things that they have embraced um, very well is uh, the digital um, environment. Uh, most young people and generally most Kenyans are quite embraced uh, new technologies, and they look forward towards uh, making maximum use of that. Now, um, as this process uh, moves on, uh, we have realized um, certain challenges, um, and um, I call them challenges for now, but uh, you could easily turn them into opportunities, I may say. And uh, one of the issues that we've recognized is that uh, most of the young people that wish to um, um, be entrepreneurs, digital entrepreneurs, um, do not have the necessary uh, soft skills, for example. Uh, they lack the exposure. Uh, they lack the nitty gritties that uh, uh, ensure that um, the uh, you know, entrepreneurship in this particular area is now converted into tangible uh, benefits, uh, if not even financial benefits uh, going forward. Um, over the years, we've held forums, we've uh, spoken to young people, young innovators, and we realize that they have enormous, enormous, enormous potential in the, this particular area. Uh, yes, so um, there are areas that can be, you know, addressed that, so that to accelerate more in that particular area. And flourishing digital innovation ecosystems and visionary policies that deliver outcome uh, and very much needed to accelerate digital transformation, reach inclusive growth and, and create jobs. Kenya has a strong vision, we know, for 2030. Mm -hmm. But is there anything else that you think should be done to accelerate digital transformation in Kenya? I think I would say there is a lot that needs to be done. Um, there is a, a lot of outstanding work from a policy framework uh, that needs to be put in place that um, shall ensure that um, we accelerate that particular um, um, you know, uh, movement towards uh, inclusiveness, for example in terms of ensuring that uh, the, um, the, the techies do get the full benefits of their, you know, innovation. And uh, <clears throat> we are trying uh, to assist them as much as possible. First of all, we need to put in place, uh, as I said, the necessary uh, framework for, for the flourishing of this particular industry. And uh, to that effect, we've uh, indeed uh, tried to partner with uh, international organizations and, and other agencies, including the ITU, for example. Uh, recently, we undertook a scoping exercise just to uh, take stock of uh, the environment in which uh, uh, this particular uh, industry is at the moment, with a view to putting the necessary uh, policy and regulatory measures uh, that will then facilitate the faster growth in this particular area. Now, coming back to the, you on this, the digital innovation framework that ITU's recently worked on uh, for Kenya, one of the opportunities uh, was that of a strong education system. I wanted to ask you, what specific programs is uh, the country rolling out to support acquisition of digital skills in order to build a competitive Kenya powered through innovation? I would start by saying that recently the government uh, started a program uh, which is dubbed AJIRA, uh, basically, the program is intended to provide the young people that are uh, with opportunities and skills, first of all, to provide the necessary opportunity, uh, skills to be able to take full advantage of the online uh, jobs, for example, uh, or online, um, you know, entrepreneurial uh, and, and, and other developmental issues that relate to the digital ecosystem. And uh, as we speak, uh, thousands and thousands of young people have enrolled in this particular program. 
Um, we do not intend to stop there. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, there is need, obviously, for a, a more robust uh, framework uh, to be put in place to, one, uh, safeguard, for example, the uh, intellectual property rights of these young people, because we've noticed in the past that some of the innovations that are, have been developed um, have gotten um, out of earn from the developers themselves. And the people that have really benefited from this have been you know, other people that um, probably did not contribute to this in the beginning. So we're trying to put in place um, uh, creating awareness on those aspects to start with, uh, trying to see how we can assist um, these people to come up with the bankable, bankable um, um, innovations uh, that can then be, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, be used uh, in conjunction with, the, you know, other developing agencies or organizations that wish to move those ideas uh, further into global products. Uh, already, we've realized um, some Kenyan innovations that are have uh, been uh, commercialized um, at regional and global basis, um, and, and we just want to accelerate that process. And finally, uh, what other initiatives uh, by the government or private sector are being pursued to accelerate Kenya's digital transformation? The, there are many uh, initiatives. Uh, I would uh, mention that, uh, first of all, from a private sector perspective, uh, we have a number of um, innovation hubs that have been um, developed uh, within the country. Uh, I need not name them specifically, but uh, suffice to say that uh, a number of innovation centers have come up. The interest is unbelievable. The interest is I I I immense. And as I said, now it is time for government to, to take its rightful role um, in putting the necessary legal policy and uh, regulatory measures in order to basically address uh, this particular uh, um, development. And it's for this reason that I said earlier that um, we're li really looking forward, even in this uh, particular conference, for every opportunity uh, that uh, we might uh, access uh, to drive that uh, process forward. Well, we wish you the very best uh, for that and uh, all your future projects. Many thanks for joining us in the studio today, and we hope to catch up with you again sometime in the future. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Asante okay. Thank you. Asante <laughs>